Hi guys, I'm Roro from the English School in Do you want to tell stories in English? Past perfect tense will help you. So, here we go. We use the past perfect to talk about the past, but not just any situation in the past. We use the past perfect when we are talking about two events that happened in the past. And one event happened before the other event. It helps you to order the actions in your story. Think about the past perfect as helping us to create the timeline. The past perfect shows the earlier action and the past simple shows the later action. So, there are two actions here, right? I washed the floor when the painter had gone. If I use just the past symbol for both actions, then you don't know which one happened before or after. All you know is that the both actions are used in the past. So the past perfect is one of those actions is letting you know which action happened before the other. Which one came first? The painter had gone and then I washed the floor. After the sun had set, we saw thousands of fireflies. Which action happened first? Did we see fireflies first? No, the sun had set first. And then we saw thousands of fireflies. And we know this because of the past perfect. So try and imagine the story here, you know. Yesterday evening, I was at home, sleeping in front of the television, when I heard a strange noise. I woke up and ran to the window. Can you guess what I saw in the garden? A flying saucer. I thought I was dreaming, so I went to the bathroom, where I had a shower and forgot about the flying saucer. Suddenly, something struck the front door. A bit afraid, I took a baseball bat, walked toward the door and opened it. Two aliens were there, smiling and jumping. They said, could we have a cup of tea please? I burst into laughter and asked them to come into the house. I put some water on the stuff and gave them some biscuits. So the past perfect tense helps our story to unfold all the time to create suspense and create drama. Let's talk about how we make the past perfect tense. We create the past perfect by using the auxiliary verb had followed by our main verb in past participle form. I hadn't finished my work when it came here. How did you hope to pass the exam if you hadn't even opened the textbook? Past perfect with before. We can also use the past perfect followed by before to show that an action wasn't done or wasn't complete when the past simple action happened. They left before I'd spoken to them. Sadly, the writer died before he'd finished the book. Adverbs with the past perfect. We often use the adverbs already before the specified time, still, as previously, just, a very short time, for, the specified time, ever, at any time before the specified time, or never, no time before the specified time. I called his office, but he'd already left. It still hadn't rained at the beginning of May. I went to visit her when she just moved to Moscow. It was the most beautiful photo I'd ever seen. Had you ever visited London when you moved there? I'd never met anyone from Spain before I met Michael. Make sure that you subscribe to the Radium channel. Don't miss the next useful video. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next lesson. Have a nice day.